Bernie Sander, known for his progressive views, has advocated for significant changes to the education system throughout his career. Let's see his video, and following there will be the key aspects of his education platform outlined. Senator, you proposed canceling uh, college debt. I uh, sure did. Yeah. So, uh, you and I have a lot of conversations about the way things go where I come from in Canada and how some of these things work better. Here's my one question about canceling student debt, even if it's from public universities. There are people graduating from professions who do very well, who are high, in high demand, engineers, coders, uh, and other professions. Philosophically, I know you want to cancel that student debt. Economically, given how much it costs, is there a way to look at this where you don't cancel the student debt of people whose debt doesn't need to be canceled? Well, I look at it a little bit differently. Uh, number one, trust me that those people who make a lot of money, who are very wealthy, probably not going to be voting for me because we're going to be raising their taxes very substantially. <laughs> but what I have to say is I do believe in the concept of universality. You know, in Canada, whether you're rich or you're poor, you can take advantage of the healthcare system. In this country, Donald Trump's grandchildren could go to a public school if they wanted, even though he's a billionaire, or he says he's a billionaire. We don't know that's true. All right. So I look at it the other way. I think what is simpler and more straightforward is, A, making all public colleges and universities tuition free for all people, and B, canceling all student debt, and in this case, paying for that through a modest tax on Wall Street speculation. Senator, you, uh, get me, help me if I'm wrong, but I think you did not support No Child Left Behind. You didn't vote for it, is that correct? Yes. You didn't think it was, it was, My understanding is you thought that it put too much emphasis on testing and it did not provide people with the kind of information that they really needed. Uh, our recent test, the nation's report card, has found that only a third of American fourth and eighth graders are proficient in reading. Only a third. And that's based on the nation's report card. What would you do to identify where our children stand in terms of their academic proficiency if we don't test them? Well, the problem with testing, I always speak better when I stand. You'll forgive me. Should we all stand? <laughs> you can all stand. Up. The problem with testing is we end up as a nation and as an educational system spending too much time teaching for the tests. Okay. And we need, your, your point is well taken, we need to keep track of the individual progress that the kids are making. And if they're not making progress, let's deal with that. This is especially difficult, and I've talked to teachers about this, for kids who have disabilities, or kids maybe have just come into this country, can't even speak the language. And they are forced to take tests to get humiliated when they do very poorly on those tests. So there is no question that we have got to keep track of every kid in this country to make sure that he or she is reading, doing math well. But there are better ways to doing it than standardized testing, in my view. What, oh. Senator, it begs the question, do you have an idea of what a better way is? Yeah. The better way is for schools to be determined in tracking and each kid and paying attention to each kid, not providing a test for the entire school district. What about, what about measures that go beyond that? Since you're so concerned about economic equity, uh, should we be thinking about people's employability, their ability to earn uh, wages, where we are in terms of the nation? Look, we have a remarkably low unemployment rate, and yet wages are stuck where they are. There's got to be some connection between that and our education system. Well, there is, but there is a connection, I, I think, that goes beyond that. A part of the connection is that over the years, many good-paying jobs have been taken out of this country and sent abroad because of bad trade deals. I think a lot of the answer to your question 
has to do with an attack on trade unionism in this country, preventing workers from earning a decent wage. So I think our goal, you're right, unemployment now is relatively low, but half of the people in this country are living paycheck to paycheck, and most of the new jobs being created are low-wage jobs. I talked to some educators in New Hampshire. find myself in New Hampshire a lot lately. I don't know why. <laughs> they said that teachers in New Hampshire, in certain districts, were starting off at $28,000 a year. How absurd is that? Senator, a question. You, you have talked a lot. I want to stand up to All you. Right. Heck. Come on, well, then I guess I have to. We're going to do this. This is where we are. You this talk is part lot. of my disease prevention effort here. Pe people feel that they have a good sense of what your thinking is about higher education. But I've often wondered about what do we do to get the kids there. And before that, because you talked about people living paycheck to paycheck, in our schools, and I've done stories on this, it's called lunch shaming. Children coming into school, and for one reason or another, their lunch bill has not been paid. This government spends about $14 billion across the country on subsidizing low and free um, lunch programs. But still we have some children who, they go into the class, into the lunchroom, find out they haven't paid their debt, and the money is thrown into the garbage can. Some people have said, and I'm asking you, should the government subsidize lunch in public school for all children, regardless of their income? And you know what? And breakfast and dinner as well. This gets back, this gets back, this, hold on. this gets back to the point you raised a moment ago. I believe in universality. You got a whole lot of money, you don't. You're treated differently at the lunch room situation, nonsense. You both are treated equally, but I'm gonna have you pay more in taxes to make sure that all kids get a decent education, a decent nutrition. Sanders has been a vocal proponent of making public colleges and universities tuition free. He argues that higher education should be accessible to all regardless of socioeconomic status. He introduced legislation like the College for All Act, aiming to eliminate tuition and fees at public colleges and universities. Sanders has proposed various plans to address the student debt crisis in the United States. He advocates for canceling existing student debt and reducing interest rates on new loans. His proposals aim to alleviate the burden of student debt on millions of Americans. Sanders has called for increased funding for public schools, particularly in low-income areas. He believes in providing adequate resources to ensure that all students have access to quality education regardless of their zip code. This includes investments in infrastructure, teacher salaries, and classroom resources. Sanders supports the idea of universal pre-kindergarten programs, arguing that early childhood education is crucial for a child's development. He has also proposed measures to make childcare more affordable for working families, including subsidies and expanded public childcare options. Sanders has advocated for raising teacher salaries to attract and retain high-quality educators. He also supports initiatives to improve teacher training and professional development opportunities. Sanders has been vocal about addressing systemic inequalities within the education system, including racial and socioeconomic disparities. He supports policies aimed at closing the achievement gap and ensuring that all students have equal access to educational opportunities. Well, I hope you like the video and give the channel a subscribe. Also, if you would check out my other channel, Concise Chomsky, link is on the homepage and in the comments section. Now, take care and bye-bye.